Hello. Hi there. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this live stream where we are going to be talking about Meghan Markle and her behaviour and whether she's acting like a narcissist. This is Reality Mental Health, RMH, and we talk about all things related to mental health. So let's give a warm welcome to my special guest, International Royals TV, and her channel is about the royal family. I will leave a link in the description to her channel as well, so please subscribe to both her channels. Hi, International Royals TV. Hi. Thanks for having me How on the do? show, and I'm very excited to be here. Looking forward to the conversation. Great, great. Excellent. So, where do I start, Meghan Markle? We're basically looking at the behaviour that she displayed recently on mm -hmm. her trip to Nigeria with Harry, mm -hmm. where Nigeria was very, very welcoming and mm -hmm. receptive of mm -hmm. Meghan. And mm -hmm. there were certain behaviours or certain things that she did on mm -hmm. camera which basically didn't look very nice mm. but also let's see whether we can put them in the bucket of narcissism so obviously I can't diagnose anyone she's not been diagnosed as a narcissist or having narcissistic personality disorder mm -hmm. so we're only mm -hmm. talking and speculating and stuff like that mm -hmm. uh, so yeah disclaimer and Narcissist so there's a difference between being narcissistic mm -hmm. and having narcissistic personality disorder. Mm -hmm. So I don't even know where to should do, what do you think? Should I explain what narcissistic personality disorder is first? Do you want to uh, yes that? please? Oh, yeah, so the the general I think the main thing with a narcissist is that they don't have empathy for other people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can't put themselves in other people's shoes. So mm. they can't relate to your feelings. So let's say, for, for instance, with M Megan, when she ignored the people who'd been waiting for her for hours to talk mm -hmm. to her, mm -hmm. and she just walked past them and went to her car, didn't even acknowledge them. I think she waved at them, which was just so rude. <laughs> um, so that would be lacking empathy like she can't even put herself in their shoes and think yeah oh they've been waiting for me for two hours let me just stop quickly and say hello yeah as you've said that sorry to cut in I remember Catherine no, can. I remember yeah. yeah I remember Catherine doing that she said oh thank you for being here how long have you been waiting in the queue I remember her saying mm -hmm. that yeah mm -hmm. yeah so uh Kate shows that or Catherine mm -hmm. she shows that she's got empathy mm -hmm. for people she feels mm -hmm. where they're coming from mm -hmm. there was even a, a footage of her you know she, I think on she was going to meet the ladies to talk about mental mm -hmm. health mm -hmm. she was going to the mm -hmm. hospital to meet, and she saw like some kids mm -hmm. or something at the train station mm -hmm. even though she didn't have time as she was walking mm -hmm. by she's like oh hi yeah. you know, she interacted yeah. with them that's what I always loved about her yeah mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. So, yeah, not being able to put themselves in someone else's shoes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, they they have this sense of superiority. Yeah. So they think that they are superior to other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, so an example of this is when Megan went on stage with an elderly lady, I don't know who she was, with another lady, and there were a couple of people on stage with Harry yeah. as well. Yeah. And the lady was supposed to stand in a certain position next yeah. to Megan. But yeah. because that would have meant that Megan would have ended up on the end mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the the line of the picture. And she wants to be in the center. Yes. Center of attention. Yeah. She told the lady that she should stay where she is and pulled Harry into that lady's position. Yeah. Exactly. Just, yeah, it was just very awkward. Mm -hmm. And 
the lady looked very upset as yeah, well. Yeah, she was. She was. Mm. But then again, because Megan doesn't show empathy, she doesn't show empathy. Mm-hmm. She probably couldn't put herself in that woman's shoes. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. After that woman had just been beating her up earlier on in the day, saying mm-hmm. she's strong, she's courageous, she's beautiful, she's in- empowering, she's all these, you know, positive connotations. Basically, she was beating her up. But by the end of the event, when she got shoved mm-hmm. out of her position where she's supposed to be standing in, she probably was thinking twice and saying, what? Mm. Is this the behaviour of a person I was just talking about? Really, when you really get to know the person deep down? Yeah. Like, wow. Because she got a, a close-up dose of it, really. Yeah. And publicly mm-hmm. as well. Publicly. She's embarrassed Humiliated. that lady. Yes. Yeah. Public mm. disgrace. Mm. So it's showing that Megan has got this grandiose sense of self-importance and entitlement. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, like she thinks that she's mm-hmm, superior mm-hmm. and deserves special treatment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Spot on. You got yeah. it. Spot on. Do you know? Do you know that is actually <laughs> the definition of a narcissist? Which is what I'm reading here. So wow. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Megan, just you mm-hmm. know, for a disclaimer, let mm-hmm. everyone know. There are nine symptoms, and basically, to have to be diagnosed with this, you have to show that you've got a pervasive pattern right. of grandiosity. So it has to be something that you're constantly doing. Um, and grandiosity means that you think that you're more important than other people. Oh, wow. And he, yeah, a need for admiration. Mm-hmm, so you need mm-hmm. other people to admire you. Like 100%. You need to be yeah. The center of attention. Mm-hmm. And then you lack empathy. Mm-hmm. So you can't put yourself in someone else's shoes or try to imagine how the other person is feeling. Mm-hmm. And it begins in early, early adulthood. Early adulthood? Yeah, beginning by early adulthood and present in a variety of contexts so as indicated by five so if you have five of the nine then you could be diagnosed with this thing with Mm. uh sorry narcissistic personality disorder so we've talked about them the first one is grandiosity and a sense of self-importance and then like is exaggerate as an example they've got exaggerating achievements and talents and oh expect- yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what she does. Oh my gosh! So if you go into the dictionary, is that mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what people is- would say? If you would go into a dictionary and you would search for that specific word, her face mm-hmm. would be appearing there. That's what people would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm actually reading from the Diagnostic and Statistical wow. Manual of Mental wow. Disorders. This is the official wow. book that. Wow. Wow. Um, psychiatrists and, and people use to diagnose. Oh, obviously, I'm not diagnosing, but this is the official wow. book and the That's official it. definition I'm mm. reading. So, it exaggerates achievements and talents. I think people have picked up on that when she keeps yes. talking about that advert. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Where the she... very liquid one. Was it very yes. liquid? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> where she told them to say people instead of woman or something and she Mm -hmm, made mm -hmm. apparently made this massive movement because of that yeah 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 you're right she keeps repeating that she um proclaims to have been um reached out to when in fact she had been the one who reached out to them yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so that's because she wants to be recognised as yeah, superior yeah. Mm-hmm. W- without commensurate achievements. Yeah. So she hasn't achieved yeah. what she's claiming to have trying to claim. Yeah. I think she I think she said something like she, Beyonce reached out to her or something funny like that at one oh. point in her do- in the documentary. True. And Beyonce was like, mm-hmm. she oh. sent me a message. <laughs> and maybe she replied, but 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's just the first trait. The second one is preoccupied with fantasies of unlimited success, power, brilliance, beauty, or an ideal love. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Spot on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Not looking good, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Do you want to say any more about that? Um, no. Examples? I think the, the mm-hmm. definition is just too close to her behaviour. Mm-hmm. 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 She always wants to be centre of attention. She always wants to greet before Harry as well. She's always walking mm-hmm. in front of him or she's always holding his hand, dragging him somewhere she mm-hmm. wants to be mm-hmm. rather than letting him freely walk around where he's supposed to Because mm-hmm. most of these, imp- some events are important. I think I saw online one time, I saw a piece of footage where he was in a like a proper formal royal setting and yeah he was supposed to be greeting shaking hands with all these um uh dignitaries you know high up yeah. people i think this was mm-hmm. still when she was obviously in the royal family still and you know when you're supposed to be able to have when you're shaking someone's hand you're you've got a you know there's a space there's a distance yeah. you're you're in close proximity to them yes shall I say but Harry was having to stretch to be able to Mm -hmm. shake these guys hands because she was pulling him back she was Mm -hmm. pulling him and these are officials he's supposed to Mm -hmm. be shaking their hands greeting them one by one in a line and she was pulling him away he had to shake he had to shake the man's hand stretching to shake the man's hand. I wish I could find that piece of footage. Wow. It was that I couldn't believe my eyes. That my is life. so ri- it's so ridiculous. Absolutely uh, ridiculous. A formal yeah. event. Formal event. Not just like he was meeting his friend down the park or something. hmm <laughs> And I, I think there's that. other footage as well where she's I don't know what I think they were at some game, like a mm-hmm. A basketball game or something yes. like that yeah. and Harry was trying to greet the players right. and then she was holding his hand and yeah. like you say pulling pulling him away but this yeah. time he just he got his hand free of her <laughs> and oh, then he yeah. ran back to pick something up oh yeah I saw that one yeah yeah, I did see it. yeah. It, she's very <laughs> controlling but yeah is that another trait of a not not behavior not But I'm sure controlling would, I don't, don't think it's a specific, like, trait, but I think because, you know, you want to be the centre of attention and you think that mm. you're special and so it's a sense of entitlement. So she would feel like she's entitled to tell him what to do, if, how to stand. But in, in, to a, in a general sense, is a mm-hmm. controlling uh feature is something controlling is it part of being a narcissist is that a... no really no it's not oh. no it's not one of the i thought they go it's not one of the hand. yeah that's what i was trying to say like you you could you could imply it but it's not one of the mm. traits not okay. one of the characteristics okay. oh characteristics that's it okay yeah so this is like a diagnostic characteristic so what they use to diagnose someone mm-hmm. with it. I'm not diagnosing her, but every time yeah. I say that, I'm going to have to yeah. say, I'm not diagnosing Megan on this. Okay, so so we've done two. Then the third one is believes that he or she is special mm-hmm. and unique mm-hmm. and can only be understood by or should be associated with other special or high status people. Oh or institutions. Goodness. That's what she does. High status people flocking around high status people. Even well, though they I don't... mean the top, the top yeah. of the top, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. This how come it's explaining her to the T? Well. <laughs> so <coughs> excuse me, sorry. 
the the thing that's um interesting here, so she thinks that she's special and unique and can only associate with other special or high status people. So maybe that's why she walked past all of those people that had been waiting for her mm. before she went in the car mm. in Nigeria. Mm. Because they're not of high status. Mm. And then I wonder if that's maybe why she treated that lady like that on the stage. But that woman, the lady was bigging her up, but I don't know. I don't she know was her the status. host. She was actually the host. Are you she was actually the speaker. joking? She was the speaker of that day. Wow. Wow. That's why, yeah, that's why they had to take a picture together. Wow. Because she was actually the speaker of the day. She was the MC. She was the host. She is supposed to be in the middle. Yeah. Next to the guy that was in the military uniform. Exactly. Yeah. And then it was supposed to be the military guy, it's supposed to be her, the host, Harry, and then Megan on the end. But Megan didn't want to be on the end. That's why she quickly mm-hmm. grabbed Harry to stand in her position. I thought that was so bad and so disrespectful. I was like, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that. Yeah. And for mm-hmm. the fact that Harry was helping all the women to get up onto the stage, that shows utmost respect. Yeah. And then the yeah. w- Megan, that's just showing Megan didn't respect the woman, the host. She didn't respect yeah. her because the woman even said, I'm supposed to be standing there. You could see her pointing to the space. I'm supposed to be standing there. And then yeah. and, and Megan was like, oh, Harry's standing there, I'm here, and you're yeah. just, just stay where you are, basically. And she put her hand on her shoulder to say, yeah, is that I know. all right? Mm-hmm. Just, so patronising as well, patronising. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so actually, that leads on to um, the, the fourth characteristic or trait Mm. which is has a sense of entitlement Mm. unreasonable expectations Mm. of especially favorable treatment or Mm. automatic compliance with his or her expectations wow so she expected the woman to comply with her the woman ended up complying with her otherwise Mm -hmm. she would have just had to make a scene it would have turned into a scene which had been more embarrassing yeah so the woman just had to back down but you could mm-hmm. tell she was so disappointed. Mm, yeah, yeah. And, and it upset. was, mm. do you know something? It was easier for that woman to walk into the space than Megan yeah. dragging Harry back into the space. The yeah. space that Harry already left for the woman to be able he to. He did. Like, he did yeah. leave the space for the if woman. not for the fact that he was helping the other women onto the stage, he, that space wouldn't have become available then that woman mm-hmm. would have been able to walk straight into her position if Harry yeah. didn't help her onto the stage Megan wouldn't have had the opportunity to drag him into the mm-hmm. woman's space yeah that's yeah what happened. it's because of her sense of entitlement as well because mm-hmm. when you look at Kate and uh Prince William when mm-hmm. whenever they're in any official situation mm-hmm. Kate, mm-hmm. Kate is always watching William and yeah. taking the lead from Thank him you. so he he kind of he goes somewhere and then she looks like exactly. oh and then she kind of figures out where she's supposed yeah, to be yeah exactly and she, makes she does sure it that so she's, naturally and professionally she does it so naturally it's and professionally. exactly mm-hmm. professionally mm-hmm. and i think you were making a good point actually that megan is an actress mm-hmm. she should be able mm-hmm. to play her role properly. exactly very well she's she's supposed to pre- be able to pretend to be engaged with people she's not supposed to be pretending because it's supposed to come naturally just like it comes naturally with Catherine Catherine has a natural ability to want to talk to people she loves talking to Mm -hmm. people she loves engaging with the people Mm. you can see it's natural but for Megan as an actress even if she's not interested in she should be able to pretend like she is that's the whole point of being an actress so why shouldn't she use in her actress skills (laughs) that's a good question that's a very good question so so far it looks 